where am I? Well, at least you know who you're dealing with. I'd hate to try and educate a sea cucumber. You aren't a pirate. Barely a grade above a kelp-covered vagrant. You drew blood that time. <laughs> I have never called the retreat before, and I never shall. I'll take the flotsam and jetsam of my sunken ship and die with a smile, knowing you and all of yours are going to be dining with me soon enough. What's your name? I think I deserve as much if you're going to keep doing that. Never heard of it. Come back and barter with me when you have a name more people than you and your bonnie mom know. I'd say you aren't in any possession to argue either, Captain. Who would I listen to? Mm. It's a short list. Anne Bonny, Blackbeard, Chopong Sai, Red Baron. <laughs> Just like you'd only listen to another man. Doesn't sound so strange now, does it? And why not? A woman branded seven times for each attempt to escape to sea. Myth said that she fell in love with a pirate that first ransomed her. Sounds pretty stout if you ask me. Stubborn as sin, too. <laughs> Resorting to manly wiles now. I'm not surprised. Thought has failed you. Let's try the other brain now. Let's hope this one's bigger. Not what you were hoping for, Captain. Gunpowder and oil burns are the corset that I wear and the makeup I don. I got them when my last ship burned into the sea. You should see the ones on my back. They're even worse. Go ahead. Take a look. Isn't it? I'm not sure what color they are now, but purple last time I saw them. But the number would hardly have changed. Seven lovely brands of my dearly departed. His insignia is only good on a few of them, though. Fury tended to make his hands shake. Most think it must have been a man, barren and all. But I was a baroness at one point in my life. But it also wasn't a baroness that tried to keep me bound to a beach where the indigenous people treated me more kindly than my own. Was captured. Seems a nice trap had been laid by dumping earth into the strait that a heavy cargo would run aground and their ships ran light. Not surprising though, this is not my first time being tied up. <laughs> Back then I thought I was going to rot in a cell. I sat in one for eight months, nearly starved to death. Figured that was going to be my lot. Turns out I pissed off the bloody throne a bit more than I thought. A real thorn in the side, they called me. His Majesty dug out my ship and dragged it back to port. So he could have the joy of burning it into the sea. With me aboard her. Hence the oil scars. Four men died pulling me out of the wreckage, at his majesty's orders. He then told me this. I'll give you a fleet. The entire ocean and passage. So long as you keep my merchant ships safe. If you want battle, have it. An entire pirate horde, both domestic and foreign, awaits you. The more that you get rid of, the more you get rid of, the better, so feel free to score them from... The more you get rid of, the better, so score them from the surface of the oceans. And I took it. I got my ship, I got a crew, and a wage in half the ocean worth of people willing to kill me, now under my command. <laughs> I think I upscaled nicely, no? 
smarter man than a good looking one, I'll give you that much. And thank you. I was beginning to get a tad chilled. But you can understand why I won't be signing any agreement. No retreat. If I return after that, it's no different than what they were about to do to me. If I return after that, it's no different than what you were about to do to me. And sadly, you are the kinder lot. I sympathize with you on account of your crew and your other ship soon to be run down. I do. How about we reattempt bargaining for favor to you, Mon Capitaine? <laughs> oh, I like that. Lady Baron. <laughs> I cannot sign a naval retreat. That has not changed. However, what assurance do I have for myself and my own men? You have that much sway, do you? Perhaps I should have learned your name. <laughs> However, I do not negotiate with pirates. But telling you about my life should give you an idea too about how to use tactics that previously saw me just as bound as I am today. Let his majesty prove to be his undoing, Captain. No. You want to use the straight he sandbarred. As I said, I do not negotiate with pirates. What to do with me? That's the tricky part. Sole survivor of a flagship's wreckage looks fishy. I have been an admiral in His Majesty's service for many years now. I have little use of money, in all fairness, between living aboard a ship that expenses were paid for. So I wonder if I shouldn't retire. Vanish? Heavens no! Ghost ships don't exist, and nor do ghosts, and if alive, I will live aboard a ship until death claims me, I should think. But tell me, does your small fleet require a stout woman with a rare set of skills and knowledge of the seas you only wish you could afford? <laughs> well, considering the debt you owe me if my biography aids your escape and having sunk my last ship, I'd say the cost would be a replacement. One of your best, too. Serve you. <laughs> oh. I serve no one any more if I acquire a third ship. I served a cause, then a crown, and they got me bound, burnt, scarred, and wounded. But the sea is my sister, and I will stay with her. And while an admiral may not lie... A pirate just might. I've heard of you, and I know what business you run. That's why more often than not I didn't bother with you. Bigger fish to fry. Continue doing a service to men and women, and I won't have a problem building a fleet with you. Consider that a bonus for the second lie I told you. <laughs> yes. I may have insulted your intelligence to your discredit, but I know a handsome face when I've seen one. So tell me, how would you like to become a baron yourself? I suppose, Captain. Are you offering me a position? And would you accept mine? <laughs> well then, you send word to your men that my crew is not to be engaged unless expressly necessary. You do that, and you may just get to discover what it's like to serve alongside a legend, and become one yourself. Do we have a deal? No. <laughs> ah, yes. Parlay indeed. It may take time to peel away the Lady Admiral, but I will never be the Red Baron again. I much prefer this Lady Baron myself. 
Now, if you don't mind as much as I seem to have a fondness for being tied up, care to lose these? <laughs> I'm looking forward to having a long working relationship with you, Captain. <laughs> 